I got rid of nearly everything I own and in this video I will explain why. Hello and welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Dalia. Let me start by giving you some background info and insights into my life to help you understand where I come from. Also, this is my first time filming with a microphone and I feel like the sound is better when I hold it in my hand rather than when I clip it onto my clothes. Let's talk about the environment I grew up in. As you maybe notice, I'm actually from the Eastern culture and my parents and my whole family actually, they came to Europe as refugees in the early 90s. They came from a very conservative, primitive and self-sufficient society and culture into this modern western European world and lifestyle and of course it was not the easiest thing for them to get used to or to get integrated in and they came here with nothing starting from scratch and even though I admire my family for how far they've come part of their mindset and view on life still remains unchanged perhaps there's also some trauma and some culture shock mixed in there but back at my parents home everyone had a giant war even my dad and my brother had a huge wardrobe. The basement and the attic and all of the extra rooms are just filled with stuff to a point where you can't even open the doors anymore or walk through the room. Also, when I still lived at home, it was always my parents that decided my clothing items and my outfits and what I would wear. But in some way, I was never happy with my room and my wardrobe. I was always decluttering, getting rid of things, trying on things, trying on outfits, and mainly letting go of pieces that I want, don't like to use or wear, or just don't use or wear enough to see in my room every day. And whenever I was decluttering and reorganizing, my parents always like walked by and say things like, why would you get rid of that item? What if a crisis breaks out soon and we don't have the resources anymore to buy new clothes or just silly things like why are you decluttering this item that is five sizes larger than your size you might need it when you're older what if you need it when you're older and you don't have this item anymore and i'm definitely not saying that there's anything wrong with these thought patterns in particular and in some way i also understand where they come from but i only came to realize recently that it's not that i've been raised that way that i have to think and be the same and it also doesn't have to mean that I'm disrespecting my parents or my culture or their story or what they've been through just because I'm not doing the same things and I'm not thinking the same way. Now something else is that I had to contribute financially to our household from the moment I was legally allowed to work. In other words, I worked and all of my earnings went to my parents and I actually never had a problem with it because of course part of my education and that of my siblings was paid with it. We could never really buy very expensive luxury items however my parents were always trying to make sure that we weren't lacking anything and we could even go on vacation a couple of times a year but then when I got married and I had full control over these resources and from the moment I had the freedom to do with it whatever I wanted I started buying and spending and accumulating so much stuff and it was mainly clothes and accessories but beauty products and home decor and tableware and stuff also played a very very big part in that and just so incredibly much more than what I actually needed and I'm actually very thankful to my husband for letting me navigate this journey and realize my mistakes at my own like timing and if you would compare the spendings and the stuff to the average person or the average woman maybe it would not be as much but it was still triple the amount to what i need and use at that time i also started to grow a little on social media which also immensely influenced my decisions and purchases i would for example buy items just for the sake of content even though they weren't really wearable or comfortable meanwhile I deleted that Instagram page and I started from scratch only posting things that align with my values and personal style and of course being on social media daily for several hours a day I myself got influenced by content from other people as well and I've been watching all of these wardrobe basics or every girl needs this item in her wardrobe kind of videos I just felt like I was floating away more and more from the person I am and also the person I'm 
I'm working towards. And yes, I've always been into fashion and interior and design overall, but I've also always been an advocate for minimalism and sustainability. But it took a lot of reflection, realization and inner work to come to the point where I am now. And I'm definitely not there yet. I feel like I'm not even halfway through, but I'm really, really enjoying the process. And I do have to say that detaching from stuff and shopping and constantly consuming content is the most freeing and liberating and beautiful feeling there is. I really had to sit with myself and reevaluate what my goals are in life and where I'm navigating to. I just started to see things from a very different perspective. I started to see beauty in a different way. I started to see beauty in life in a different way. And also now that I'm married and we're hoping to be parents somewhere soon, just my view on life in general has changed. Also reevaluate Valuing my spiritual life and my faith and getting things in order with God was just so liberating for me and all of those things just contributed to me finding my way back to my authentic self. Okay, enough of that and let's talk about my wardrobe. I actually did not film the process of decluttering and getting rid of stuff for two reasons. For one, it was a long process and it took me weeks to get to this point, even though I could split it up in different parts it would still be a lot and chaotic and the second reason is that I didn't want to do this for content I just wanted to do this for me I wanted to do it off camera I did film a very small portion from last week's and those are the in-between clips that you'll see in this video I would love to go more in depth about the pieces that I kept but in this video I will quickly walk you through my closet so the room that you'll see used to be one giant walking closet on both sides of the room and it was even that bad that I only kept my seasonal items in that room so when it was spring summer I had my spring summer stuff out in that room and I had my autumn winter stuff actually downstairs in the basement in very large storage boxes besides that I had a very big coat rack in the hallway that is now broken I was taking over little parts of my husband's closet as well I even had that much stuff that that I had to store boxes filled with clothing and shoes at my parents' home because we could not store it in our home and storage room. But yeah, so welcome to my new closet. I have this first part with homeware, accessories and underwear. And then I have the part with my main clothes, shoes and bags. I have my bigger bags and purses down here. This is the main portion of my clothes. So I have all of my tops and bottoms here as well as my dresses. Above that, I have nearly all of my shoes and smaller bags. I only have two pairs of sneakers, my home slippers and my regular slippers in the shoe closet. And then I have two of these large storage storage boxes. This one has a few cocktail dresses because we do have occasions to wear them too. In these drawers I have my workout clothes, my plain and graphic t-shirts, I have my underwear, I also have my sunglasses organized in here. And this top drawer has a couple of trinkets that I usually like throw in my purses when I go out. Then I have my sleeping dresses and robes hanging here. I have a few home and loungewear pieces that I folded up there. And then I have this box with empty dust bags and little boxes and also a steamer. These bins are empty except for one that holds my hats, gloves and one tote bag. And then in this storage box I have my deep winter and summer clothes. So for example I have my moon boots in there as well as my bikini cover-ups. I have my jackets and coats on a new rack in the hallway. In the bathroom I keep the products that I use daily to weekly and this includes all products from hair to makeup to skincare as well as my little jewelry box with the only jewelry pieces that I kept and then lastly in my desk I have this cosmetic bag that holds some products that I use less than weekly and that was actually it I would love to thank you for watching I hope to make more videos like this so if you're interested don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you in my next video